Well, Liverpool have just signed Frederico Chiesa and this is going to be massive for them. It's massive for Liverpool in general and it's massive for Arne Slot. He's putting his mark on Liverpool and signing some big players, which he didn't do in the transfer window, but this this has turned it around, you know, and he's got an amazing team already. The quality's there, and he's just adding to it with Chiesa. Chiesa, you know, Chiesa is a marquee player. You know, he offers great value, and he will showcase Liverpool's sort of transfer magic with what Arne Slot could do. And there, there's sort of a th- theory going around that Chiesa isn't as good as he once was, and... I think I think it's nonsense and I think that he's still a top quality player. He scored 10 goals for Juventus last season with I, I think with his peak still years ahead and his peak could be at Liverpool with this. I guess there is also the the fact that could the Premier League change his style uh, and could will, will Liverpool give him enough chance to show the quality that he can in the Premier League and he he came for quite a low transfer fee, you know, and this is due to Juventus didn't want to lose him for free, and it, because he was in the final year of his contract, they didn't want to lose him for free, so th- they still had to put a a price on it, and th- his his drop in the sort of transfer market value from three years ago is attributed to his injury struggles as well, and not his ability. If they can avoid his injuries, um, then I think he'll be an amazing player at Liverpool. They have admired Chiesa for a long time and his transfer wasn't like a panic buy. I think it's a really well-timed move and he has recovered from his serious knee injury and Liverpool has has assessed that in his medical um, just before the signing and it seems okay, you know. And his arrival, it will strengthen the already amazing Liverpool attack. I mean, it includes like Salah, Diaz, Jota, Nunes, Gakpo. I mean, prior to this, Harvey Elliott was playing in that sort of role quite a lot. And he was known as sort of Salah's understudy type thing. Chiesa will now take that role. And Harvey Elliott was a brilliant player. But... Chiesa just really adds that quality to Liverpool's team and it will likely lead to Ben Doak going out on loan as well and this this could definitely benefit Liverpool's squad depth but if we're talking about the uh, the departures of players like that could it maybe symbol the Salah's time at Liverpool you know signing another big player to to fit in possibly that role could could it sig- signal the the end of Salah's time? I think it maybe could extend uh, instead of end Salah's time at Liverpool because it could give when Salah needs the the break because he's getting old, he's getting tired, you know, fatigued uh, will kick in. You've got Chiesa there who's still top quality, but then you can take Salah off for that moment to put him on. Like that could help Liverpool. I don't know if it will. I don't know if it just shows that Salah will just completely leave after this. But I think he's still got a maybe a couple of seasons on him. Um, but he's going to go elsewhere soon. And doing doing this is a good, a smart move for to to prepare to prepare the team for when Salah does go. Salah has been faced with significant pressure, you know, when Mane and sort of Firmino left, expectations were focused heavily on him and Chiesa won't immediately challenge Salah for his starting spot, but he will be eased into the team and will find his uh, find his ability there soon enough. And he Salah will belef- benefit from Kayser's presence as well. It provides sort of more flexibility in the team and reduces that over over reliance on Salah. You know, when Salah's not performing, the the team needs to get behind someone as well, and this will get the team flexible and be able to have that replacement when they need it. 
I mean, last season Salah's form sort of dipped due to his fatigue and a couple of injuries, and it was uh, quite a lot of it was due to the Afcon as well. But Chiesa's arrival should help manage sort of Salah's workload with all of this, and it'll ensure that he is at his best in critical moments of the season. Liverpool's title challenges, if you could call them that, in the last couple of seasons, had been hindered by fatigue especially with those senior players like Salah and Chiesa's signing overall will offer much needed depth to avoid these issues and problems like that and ensure that Salah will stay fit and fresh for the end of the season but yeah what are your thoughts on this do you think Chiesa will be a flop or a top quality signing for Liverpool And, uh, you know, get your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching the full-time podcast. See you next time. Goodbye.